Hey, Spur Chasers. Well, John here. And what a fantastic, epic time I had with my good buddy, Will. And, uh, you know, it's finally time to take myself out. I just have not had time. It's just too busy this year. Not with people here, but work and life. So, you know, it's a sunny afternoon. It's about 2.30. It's a good time for an afternoon run. I'm going to take the e-bike out and see if I can... Let's see if I can give you a view here. Yeah, taking the Vitalian i7 Pro e-bike out. I'm going to tool down some uh, back roads and go into some deep area that actually I've never even walked to before. So, let's see what happens. You know, anything's possible. And uh, more to come. Let's get into it. Here we go. Oh, big hole in the road. Jeez, that was harsh. <laughs> All right, let's see you in the woods. Tell you what, this thing can crawl up some hills like there's no issues whatsoever. It's got really good quality welds everywhere, good quality components, really higher end than it probably ought to have for what it is. But good brakes, no issues. I'm very impressed with the Samsung battery and the much higher end Bafang motor ones that come in bikes that are thousands more. So kudos to uh, Vitalian for doing this. Really, really. I mean, go check out their price point. It's, it's epic. Another turkey goblin down here. Another for sure time, it sounds like. It's dead silence. I can hear everything. Today's not so much about killing a bird, though, to be honest. Today's more about just putting some miles on this thing, getting a feel for it. I figure I can do at least 10 miles on this trail and I'm in a piece of property that I've never traveled the back end of it just because normally you kill a bird long before you get there. And uh, knowing how far of a walk it is and a lot of the stuff in between, how it has no birds in it. But I guarantee there's birds at the other end of it, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ride out there and check it for the first time ever. It's work, but it's fun. There's turkey gull when I pull on me. He's a two-year-old. I don't think I've been in here far enough yet. I don't really want to kill him. <laughs> I made one call down below. He's looking for me.
I mean, that's a classic first year Tom coming on string. But I really want to put some miles on this bike. Heck, I'm only three miles in at best. Shoot him on the way out. Trying to find something bigger, maybe. Well, so far so good still. We got a, another two year old goblin down behind me now. I mean, I'm not trying to be snobbish here, but again, I still got another six miles or more to get to where I really want to be. I'm amazed at how many birds are yakking today, though. I mean, they are. There's at least three different birds now coming in on a string, technically speaking. Let's see if you can hear them. I always do this when I want to film it. <laughs> it's probably running to get here. The last one I told you about. As soon as I got away from that spot, he was gobbling right where I was. So it was the way back. <laughs> All right, let's keep pressing on. Good one and a couple jigs. But Looks like I got a long way around the canyon to get to them. I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> Perfect still afternoon, you can hear forever. I just had a big fat hand cross the road right in front of me as I was coming up. So the girls are heading for nesting, for sure. Okay, that one is nice. Think about this so I can figure out a way over there. He's about thousand yards away, give or take. He might come. Be quite a jaunt for them, but if they're hot, they're hot. Let's see. Okay, I've been at it for about 20 minutes with this bird. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was an easy mile as the crow flies. I mean, I guess 1,200 yards, but I don't know. I'll show you where he started. But he's now at the bottom of this canyon, and everything he does says he's coming. So I'll show you where this bird was when I first lit him up. See that ridge out there? 
way out there. Not the furthest one, but the one right there with the trees. That's where he started. I mean, my camera's showing it pretty accurately. But this is crazy. He is closing the distance, man. Definitely. And the jigs in tow. Alright. Looks like I might fill a tag. Finally. I'm gonna do a get the bike out of the way, try to find a setup. I think he's halfway here. Man, I was way down on the lower point. But I don't know if he would have heard me down there. Alright, looks like I got a good setup here. Now let's see if he's willing to close the distance. It was pretty darn close. That corner is about 40 yards, give or take. And my decoy is down here. Okay, he's on the next hill closest to me now. He's come out of the ditch. I just don't know if he's going to cover it all. Are you kidding? You want me to come all the way up there? Oh, he's close. Come on, big boy. Come on up and get you some. Can't be more than 500 yards now. I mean, as a turkey walks, that ain't so bad. Yeah, he's kind of holding down there in that spot, it looks like. Gosh, man, I'd really love to see him come the rest of the way. I don't want to have to gather all my junk up to go get him. He's like, come on, baby, I came halfway. Yeah. By golly. It's right down there. Not that far, really. But there is some bad weather moving in. I'm not sure I'm going to get him before that gets here. And that would really be a bummer. But I know where he is. I can always come back. He'll be here. Nice bird, very nice bird. Okay, folks, I came down the hill. There's no good setup, he's right down below me, gobbling. He's hoping that end's gonna come down, so. Let's see. Everything in here is junk. There's no good shot. It's thick as crud. 
Let's hope for the best. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see much, but...
Yeah. That better work just fine. That will work just fine. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I called him in. I didn't realize he had that many with him. Now I can see why there's a little road path down here. Oh. Busted him good. He just wasn't going to come anywhere. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm liking it. Number nines. Solid first bird. Oh. Oh, he's got beard rot. That's a bummer. Yeah. A little bit of beard rot. That's too bad. Well, that was a hard wind though. Put him down clean. That was a 40 yard shot right there. Because I was... I don't know if you can see it. Here, I'll zoom in. I mean, I might have been closer to 50. See that tree back there? Yeah, it's out there. But I trust the load. And we got some good spurs here too, boy. That tree right there. Shot right between those little shrubs right there. He was coming right down this path. Well, I'm going to remember this spot. And now you can see the distance. That's a clean 50 right there. TSS number nine, Salt Creek Custom Ammo, right there. Salt Creek Custom, two and three quarter inch shell. You don't need any more. Powder Master Code Black. And I think we got a set of hooks right here. Yeah, he's a nice slim hanger. Solid bird. His beard, unfortunately, which, you know, I don't care. I don't say this stuff anymore. His beer is rotted right off. It's usually a deficiency in food more than anything else, but I find it hard to believe up here. Yeah, he's toast. Toasted. Toasted him good. He's got no eye left on this side. I'm going to get this camera off the gun. What a great spot. I remember this. All right, well, there he is, folks. He's a fine bird. All right. Well, he's a fine bird. Had a good time. Called him up from the valley on the other side, like you saw. And, you know, he only got so far. And then I could hear hens coming from way up in the distance. So I figured in no time at all, more likely they were going to be together. And I had them so close to coming right up in front of me, but then that was it. So, a little sneaking down into them, a little bit of talking, had some jakes walk right by me, putting, didn't move. And uh, I got to tell you, Salt Creek Custom, excuse me, Salt Creek Custom put out some two and three quarter inch shells by request for me. And in this gun, Epic low, two and three quarter, number nine TSS from Salt Creek Custom. Uh, no problem. Pattern Master Code Black put out a great pattern. I tested it earlier, so I knew what was going to happen. I was totally confident in that shot. I just wanted to see him more. And I wanted to make sure there wasn't a hen behind him. So worked out pretty good. Not bad for the first hunt. Not the stretch show I was hoping. I really thought he would come in. But he's got a brother back there gobbling his head off. I don't think I'll be back in here again, though. But this guy's got some nice hooks. I'm going to measure him here in a second. And uh, we'll see what we got. His beard is dry rotted right off. Which usually is a sign of not really super healthy when it comes to uh, nu nutrition. It could also be we had a heck of a winter. So that could have had a lot to do with it too. But either way, good hunt. I got the e-bike stashed up above me. I'm going to get back up there and uh, tote this sucker out. Well, folks. Back to the bike, did a few photos, and once again, I gotta say, the bike's a lot of fun. This is a, this is definite. 
I'm looking forward to more of this. So, helps me get into some places that are further than I would normally go to. Still snow up here everywhere. I'm gonna stash this turkey in my pack and hit the road. Get my, get my gun all uh, tied back up on the bike. Simple gun rack. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And somehow sprained my ankle pretty good coming up the hill. Got stuck in a log jam back there. And uh, I'm glad I got the bike. It was fun. Here we go. Back out of here. Fishing season opens tomorrow for all the small lakes. And that's a family tradition. So I'm glad I got one bird down just for the, the joy of that. And I go home, get the boat all ready and get the stuff geared up. And uh, maybe we'll show a little quick video of some fishing tomorrow. Looks like we're going to have some decent weather. Man, turkey's got one everywhere. Wow. Why not? More to come.